Hello everyone, this time we will discuss the overall framework of Mathematics K-12 curriculum, specifically the twin goals and the underlying principles and theories. Please subscribe on my channel. The twin goals of mathematics of the K-12 curriculum. Mathematics must be learned comprehensively and this is the focal point. So to improve the logical skills in math is your guide in teaching and learning. Twin goals of the mathematics, the new mathematics curriculum. We have the critical thinking and problem solving. So what do you mean by critical thinking? So this is the, the intellectually disciplined process of actively and skillfully conceptualizing, applying, analyzing, synthesizing, and or evaluating information gathered from or generated by some observations, experience, reflection, reasoning, or communication. This is a guide to one's belief and action. What about for problem solving? What do you mean by problem solving? This is finding a way around a difficulty, around an obstacle, and finding a solution to a problem that is unknown. What is the underlying principles and theories of the K-12 curriculum? What are the principles and theories underlying these two goals of math? So we have first principle and theory. You can use this one in your further research. We have the discovery and inquiry-based learning. So you may use this one, discovery and inquiry-based learning. This allows learners to learn by Asking relevant questions and discovering new ideas. Second, making use of their personal experiences to discover facts, relationships, and concepts. That's why the students must perform their performance tasks. Second, we have here experiential and situated learning. What do you mean by this? This allows learners to learn by letting them make sense of their direct everyday experiences and engaging them in transforming experience, placing them in the same context in which concepts and theories are applied. That is part of experiential and situated learning. Next, we have this cooperative learning. This allows learners to learn by actively working with fellow learners as they engage in a shared task, cooperative learning. So that's why you shared tasks. And then we have this reflective learning. Allows learners to learn by thinking about, processing, making sense of, and giving meaning to what their experiences again thinking about processing making sense of and giving meaning to their experiences that's reflective learning another we have this constructivism it's very common in math allows learners to learn by drawing ideas from their own experiences connecting ideas from experiences to new ideas that are encountered so that's constructivism. Okay, so we have these five principles and theories. First, discovery and inquiry-based learning, experiential and situated learning, reflective learning, cooperative learning, and constructivism. So what are the methods used to achieve these twin, twin goals? So we have here, you need the content. So... What are the contents? So we have numbers and number sense, measurement, geometry, patterns and algebra, probability and statistics. So again, these are the contents, number and number sense, measurement, geometry, patterns and algebra, probability and statistics. That's the general. What are the processes, the skills and processes? So we have here, uh, knowing and understanding, estimating, computing and solving, Visualizing and modeling, representing and communicating, conjecturing, reasoning, proving, and decision making. So these are the common skills and processes that you're going to use in 
uh, showing or performing these twin goals applying and connecting especially to real life okay methods what are the mathematical tools so we have the manipulative objects measuring devices like calculators and computers smartphones tablets we have the wall from alpha we have there the photomath we have uh, other statistical tools and of course we have the internet okay what are the values and attitudes so we have accuracy of course you need the creativity objectivity perseverance productivity okay so we have the context belief beliefs environment language culture traditions and practices and your prior knowledge and experiences we have the content the skills and processes values and attitudes mathematical tools and uh, the context so this completes the framework of the overall twin goals of math with their corresponding elements of the content the skills and processes the values and attitudes mathematical tools context with the given uh, five strategies and theory we hope that you found this video helpful if you have any questions please leave that in the comments below you can recommend a topic to discuss in the future Please watch my other math tutorial and don't forget to subscribe on my channel.